Hey guys, this is going to be a quick tutorial showing you how I created this time lapse effect. If you notice, the background is moving super fast and I am also in slow motion. The one thing about this is I shot this on my GH4 so I was able to shoot at 96 frames per second, but it will also work with a normal speed video. So now you need to shoot a time lapse video and the easiest way is simply pressing record on your camera and letting it sit for about 10 minutes because that's what I did. And then you can speed it up as fast as you want in your video editing software and then render it out and re-import it into your video program just so it doesn't lag the program too much. And once you're done with that, you also need to film yourself in that same scene. If you notice if I jump back and forth, the scenes are a little bit different because I shot this in 4K and I shot this in 1080p slow motion. So now what we want to do is section off an area of the clip we want to overlay just so we don't have to work with a lot of video. So what we want to do is click on the opacity thing and create an ellipse. Drag that over to our section that we want to work with and let's resize this down just a tiny bit like this and let's create mask feather probably about 25. And from there, let's start working with this video. So go to the effects tab and type in color key and drag that onto your clip. What we're going to do now is simply select the eyedropper under the key color and pick anything in the sky and drag the tolerance up a little bit until you don't see the sky anymore or as far as you want. I'm pulling up all the way to 225 and then simply drag this clip on top of your time lapse now. Now if you notice, it's not matching up exactly, so what I have to do is simply change the position until I get it to go like that. And you'll notice we also have an artifact over here. So simply let's click on that and also click on the mask and then drag this in a little bit more. And then resize this back down to match our area. So as you can see, the background is moving in fast motion and I am moving in slow motion. It's a really cool effect, but I like to also take it one step further and match the exposure simply by going to the color tab, clicking on my layer, and then just boosting up the contrast till I feel like it blends together. So that's pretty much the effect, guys, but you can also do some cool things by nesting both of these together and creating it one clip and then go to the very beginning, adding a scale keyframe, and then going to the end and adding another scale keyframe where you zoom in a little bit. So while that's rendering, I just want to say thank you guys so much because I really enjoy making these tutorials for you. And as always, if you like the video, give it that thumbs up and subscribe because I'm going to be making some more stuff in the future and I don't want you to miss out. And voila, this is the effect that we got. It was super fast, but it's a lot of fun. I want to see what you guys create. So if you use this effect, let me know and I'll check out your video.